what was the biggest surprise for you in making this film in terms of like you know what kind of like like what your what your process of discovery was? <laughs> I had a lot of processes of discovery. Um, one big process of discovery was um, Margot's film, which Mariel knew nothing about. She never knew that any of that material was filmed. And we found 43 hours of film that had never been seen before. I mean, you would have had to go in and, you know, blow the dust off of it. Uh, and a lot how of did it. You find, how, how did you find that? Well, oh, a really wonderful man named Alan Barker, who's a terrific sound recordist and great filmmaker, uh, said, and I just randomly asked him, would he come to catch him with me and do sound? And when he was there, he said, you know, Barbara, in 1983 and 84, I was doing some camera. And I filmed um, Margot Hemingway and her family. And I said, what? <laughs> where is that? And he said, you know, I don't know where the footage is. I said, well, do you have people's names? And many of the people whose names he gave us, they had passed away. They weren't around anymore. And then I think one, and, and lots of the footage had been lost in a barn fire and all these things. And then finally, we got on a track where somebody said, listen, I think somebody gave what was left of it to um, an archival house, the WPA in Minnesota, and calling them up. And they said, really? Nobody has ever asked to see this before. And we don't know what shape it's in. We don't know if it's going to crumble. I said, I don't care. Please just send it to me. And so I would get these packages every now and again. And for me, it was like Christmas, opening up these packages and really being able to see this material of feeling who Margo was, because I never met Margo. And I adored her from looking at this. I just thought that she was so full of life and so wonderful and just wanted to be loved and just very honest and raw. And also seeing what the Hemingway house was like of sitting in the kitchen and, you know, the mother up on the sink with her legs crossed and wine time and all the different things. And I wanted Mariel to be free and not know that I had this footage so she could recollect her memories of what this was like. So when she would tell me these stories, I would go through the footage to see if they matched the stories. 